A Hamantash, Yiddish, Hemantaz also spelled Hamantash, place. Hemantazan Hamantashan or Hamantashan, literally. Haman pockets. Hebrew, when Hemen Ozen Haman, place. Was me Hemen Ozne Haman, literally. Haman. S. Ears is a filled pocket cookie or pastry recognizable for its triangular shape, usually associated with the Jewish holiday of Purim and Haman, the villain in the Purim story. The shape is achieved by folding in the sides of a circular piece of dough, with a filling placed in the center. Hamantashan are made with many different fillings, including poppy seed, the oldest and most traditional variety, prunes, nut, date, apricot, raspberry, raisins, apple, fruit preserves in a lekbar style, cherry, fig, chocolate, dulce de leche, halva, or even caramel or cheese. Their formation varies from hard pastry to soft doughy casings. Name and symbolism Hamantash is also spelled Hamantash, Homentash, Homentash, or even H. Umentash. The name Hamantash is commonly viewed as a reference to Haman, the villain of Purim, as described in the Book of Esther. The pastries are supposed to symbolize the defeated enemy of the Jewish people. The word Tash means pouch or pocket in German, and thus may refer to Haman. S pockets, symbolizing the money that Haman offered to Ahasuerus in exchange for permission to destroy the Jews. In Hebrew, tash means weaken, and the Hamantash may celebrate the weakening of Haman and the hope that God will weaken all of the enemies of the Jews. Another possible source of the name is a folk etymology, the original Yiddish word mantazen or the German word montaschen, both meaning poppyseed-filled pouches, was transformed to hamantaschen, likely by association with Haman. In Israel, hamantaschen are called Ozne Haman, Hebrew, was me Hemen Hebrew for Haman's ears, in reference to their defeated enemy's ears. The reason for the three-sided shape is uncertain. There is an old legend that Haman wore a three-cornered hat. The Midrash says that when Haman recognized the merit of the three patriarchs, his strength immediately weakened. Naked archaeologist documentarian Simha Jakovavici has shown the resemblance of Hamantashan to dice from the ancient Babylonian royal game of Ur, thus suggesting that the pastries are meant to symbolize the pyramidal shape of the dice cast by Haman in determining the day of destruction for the Jews. Plural. The word Hamantash is singular. Hamantashan is plural and is the more common word form. However, many people refer to these pastries as Hamantashan even in the singular, for example, I ate an apricot Hamantashan. See also Latka Hamantash debate. Jewish cuisine Israeli cuisine Culture of Israel References External links Media related to Hamantashan at Wikimedia Commons